I know we've been here a long time, and uh, I'll try to keep it short. I have a resolution that I'm not going to read that I'm going to present later on. I want to tell you something about the uh, big house that hadn't been said tonight, and that's not the point. I met him in 1949 when I came to Elizabeth City State University basketball coach. Two years later, while he was still courting Clark, he begged me, along with Shelton Matthews and Johnny McLennan, to go to Kentucky with him to try to integrate the National Basketball Coaches Association. Most people don't know that, but we drove in separate cars. Big House, who was from Kentucky, found places for us to live because we could not stay at the hotel. It was at the Brown Hotel in Kentucky. Well, through his efforts, the guys that was following me, John Thompson, Tuppy Smith, things like that, rose to be able to coach in Division One because Big House, diplomatically pursued the efforts and established the first Black Coaches Association that was really never fully organized at that particular time, but paved the way for Afro-Americans to enter the Basketball Coaches Association. Two weeks ago, I guess uh, John just came up on the stage, but we were out in the lobby of the Millennium Hotel in St. Louis, and we were uh, sort of reflecting. I'm just going to take a minute to tell you this because Big House is in good hands. And uh, after he talked to John about the shoes, uh, and John said he had to go change his shoes and put on some sneakers or something because his feet were hurt. And Lisa came by and she went downstairs to check on the buffet. But Big House said something, I told Clarence the other night, she said, Bob, I'm kind of tired. And he said, you know, I think Joe Thompson, Tom Harris, up there waiting for me to have a little Texas hold. And I said, what's wrong, you feel bad? He said, no, 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 but I, I just, uh, you know, we're getting there, and as Clara knows, we've talked for the last two or three years for hours, and I, sometimes I just put the phone down and, <laughs> because we talked about everything. But I want you to know the part that he played in life, and before I read just a portion of this legislation, I want to know, let you know that Big House won 828 games because of me. Without me, I knew he would not have any more than seven or something. So I'm going to ask all of those CIAA coaches present who contributed to Big House 828 game. Would you please stand? I know you're here. Chris, yeah, come on. Come on, fellas. I've been seeing you. Come on, stand out here. And thank God for you. Uh, through Big House's efforts, uh, he was the third Afro-American inductee in the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. And he's been pushing me all of my life. He pushed me, and last December they elected me president of the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. And there's a resolution they want me to read. I won't read all of it. I'm just going to take a paragraph from it, which reflects a lot which has been said, but it's unknown. Whereas Clarence Big House Games met the challenges of segregation with unmatched distinction, great creativity and enlightenment, with unwavering dedication, became the president of the National Basketball Coaches Association. Be it resolved that the Board of Directors of the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame for itself and all the members of the hall expresses deep and heartfelt sorrow to the loss to the mortal beings of Clarence Big House Game. Even as we humbly bow to the will of the Almighty and say for all of us, Servant of God, well done. That which is contained in a full resolution will be presented to the family. 
at some future time. We've got some other people and I know you're tired, so I'm gonna say thank you very much. <laughs>